and welcome to the Clean Water Minute. I'm Sam Briggs and I'm the Save Our Students Manager at the Isaac Walton League. And we're here in Muddy Branch at the League's National Headquarters and we're going to talk about Salt Watch. Um, you'll notice it's starting to get a little bit chilly outside. We have a threat of snow in the D.C. region tomorrow. So folks should really start be thinking about what that can do for their water quality. Uh, so you can sign up for a Salt Watch test kit at iwla.org slash saltwatch. And we will send you an envelope in the mail and it's going to have a couple of important things in it. Um, it's going to have a postcard. It has the instructions on how to do the test there as well as your conversion chart on the other side. And it, you're going to have this little plastic baggie in there as well. Um, they just have four test strips inside so you can come out at varying times during the winter to do your monitoring for fluoride, which is what we'll see from road salt. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to need to bring out a little plastic cup or a vial, um, and we use the ones from our other chemical tests, but just like a Dixie cup will work fine. Uh, and you're going to fill it with your stream water that you're testing there. So make sure, just like with our other tests, that you are filling it up and dumping it out three times to make sure you're getting just a sample of your stream water. Fill it up, dump it out, fill it up, dump it out, fill it up, dump it out, and fill it up again. So it doesn't have to be all the way to the top, Water's really cold outside. It's definitely winter now. And what we are going to do is we are going to carefully pull out one of our fluoride test strips. You want to be careful because you don't want to dump the rest of them in the stream and then ruin the rest of your strips for the rest of the winter. We'll shake one of these out. And we are going to put that in our vial here. I'll just put this off to the side because we don't need that anymore. You'll notice but at the top of your test strip there, that there's an orange horizontal bar across the top. We have to wait for this test to go until that orange bar is purple or black all the way across, completely saturated with a different color. And that's when we'll know that this is ready to read. The reason why we chose this spot to do our test for today is because this is where Salt Watch came to be, right up there. So what actually happened was a salt truck during the winter months last January came through and accidentally dumped a massive pile of road salt right over our storm drain that runs into Muddy Branch. Our intern at the time, Ben, who had been out doing weekly chemical sampling, uh, came out and noticed a massive spike in the chloride levels in our stream to the point that the animals, the macroinvertebrates in our stream, the fish that we know and love could have completely died off because it was that toxic. So then we decided maybe we needed people all across the nation in the winter out here doing this chloride monitoring. It's really, really easy to do, so that's why we decided to send out kits so folks could get out there. So you'll notice that our strip is just starting to change. It'll get purple all the way across the top, so we still have a little time. But once that's done, what you're going to do is you're going to pull out your test strip and you are going to hold it up to your postcard there. And what you're going to do is take your phone, snap a picture, make sure we can see the whole chart, and submit it to Water Reporter. Don't worry, there's directions on the back on how to do that, and what we're going to do is we get that on our end, and we're going to take your reading and mark it down so we can track that road salt nationwide. Um, if you already have your fluoride test strips in a bottle like this, some folks are already out doing monitoring, you don't need a special test kit. What you can do is you can pull out a test strip from your bottle here, you can do your sample just like we just did, and when you submit your picture, you can hold it up to the chart on the back there so we can see the reading. The reason why you can't use one of our postcards is these all change depending on what lot of tests you have. So the conversion may change if you have an older test strip or a newer test strip than the lot that we use for our salt watch test kits. So make sure you get out and start sampling your, for your fluoride, for your road salt, before we get too much snow. Because we want to get that baseline level, just like Ben did last year, so we can track the spike to when we have a lot of snow and some excess road salt. So vary your, your sampling across the winter. It can happen before it snows, right after a snow, right after a melt. You may see your biggest spike in road salt yet. And make sure to report it to us at Water Reporter so we can see where you're sampling and we can take that data and use it. So make sure, again, visit iwla.org slash saltwatch to order your test kit and we will get that into to the mail you, to you ASAP. All right, I'm getting cold, so it's time to go inside. Happy salt watching.